my name is uh, Michael Ignatiadis. I'm a medical oncologist. I'm the director of the Breast Medical Oncology Clinic and Program at the Jules Bordet Institute in Brussels in Belgium. And um, I'm happy to be here. I think it's um, uh, the unequal access to innovation uh, across countries and within countries. I think this is uh, sort of, to me, uh, the major problem. Uh, patients uh, within countries and between countries do not have access to innovation at the same way. And so this is uh, due to many reasons. Uh, this is due to uh, uh, distance uh, to um, healthcare access. It could be due to uh, financial reasons, social reasons, education, many reasons. Um, and I think in order to address this problem of uh, uh, unequal access to education, uh, the only way is to involve patients. And to involve patients uh, in, um, as uh, equal partners in decision making in uh, all levels. For that, uh, what is needed is education, patient education. Uh, and then we need to have patients uh, in all tables uh, when we are designing, for instance, clinical trials, when we are um, discussing the value of the results of the clinical trials, and ultimately when decisions are being made about uh, um, the access to, uh, to the innovation that comes out of these clinical trials. Uh, but also patients uh, need to be uh, on board uh, when decisions are being made uh, about the delivery of this innovation uh, and the prioritization of the delivery of this innovation. I think uh, it's the involvement of patients that is key here. Uh, and I think it's so critical and there are, uh, it should be in so many levels that I think this uh, encompasses uh, uh, really uh, the way forward. And so probably we will need to focus on uh, how patients can be involved in multiple levels uh, uh, from um, uh, the development of innovation uh, until the delivery uh, of innovation uh, for them. And then of course, uh, the equal access to this innovation. And so I think this is the critical uh, thing uh, that we need to focus on.